All right. Oops. Oh, that was my bad. Okay. So, um, just had some questions on this Font Families website. Um, unfortunately, my last um, video just didn't work out. So, it was too long and YouTube wasn't accepting it. So, anyways, believe it or not. Uh, some of the things I just want to go over, I've created this website right here. This is what I did in my last website, I mean in my last video. What I wanted to tell you though was that the style sheet, I don't mind if you keep everything when you create a new uh, REPL, but this link right here, something that you should be aware of, it's, it's already there. It links you to this style sheet down here. Okay, and This is how you do it. It's this tag, link href style.css. Okay? And that's a style sheet. If I wanted to create a new style sheet, I'd say add file and I'd say style2.css and hit enter. And it's another style sheet. And I'd have to link it to that, okay? So let's take a look at this. The link. So this is where it's linked to. Right now I've got body, background cutter, corn, color, corn silk, okay? Um, over here, I've got background color red. Why isn't it red? Okay, so the link down below is priority. If the link was up here, let's see what happens if we move the link up here. Okay, hit run. All of a sudden, the background color is red. Okay, I'm just showing you what takes priority here. Okay, so just this link, it might help you clean it up. I like keeping them in the same um, page for these short assignments so that you just can keep track of everything. Okay. Let's take a look down here. So Times New Roman right here. The fun thing that I did for the fonts, I just created a table, did font families, created a table. So if you want to get fonts and font families, you have to create either A, a class name right here. So you can say class equals times, and you can come up here and say font family equals Times New Roman. Okay. Um, you could change that to, you know, whatever you want. So I'll do the next one. I'll do the next one as Jokerman. So I'll put Jokerman font. I'll hit run. And, oh, spelled it wrong. See, and there you go. Okay, but I'm going to put in times new Roman. The default is times new Roman, so no big deal. The other way that you could do it is right here. You could say style equals. And here we're just creating a style sheet within there. Now, what takes priority if I put a style up here? So let's say I just put here, let's, let's say I did this, so I put style as well equals, and I'll do it here first, I'll say font family, font family, and I'll add, treat it just like CSS. I'll say jokerman, there, I'll hit run, and there it is, okay? Or I could say style equals, and I'm going to put Jokerman here as well. So font family Jokerman. What happens when I hit run? Okay, well, it shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Usually, if I put in font family right here, the the CSS or the style. So it's, I guess it wasn't a good example because I basically directed it up to the style sheet. Here's a better example. Um, how about the background color? Okay, so if I go to my body right here and say BG color red, hit run, nothing happens. Okay, so if I were to delete this link and delete this background color right here, then I hit run and Oops, it's equals. Sorry, I was thinking CSS. There you go. Okay, then it would be red. But if I kept everything here, made this correct actually. Hit run, it would still go with the priority levels. So here are the priority levels. Whatever's first in your head, okay, so that's the priority, or sorry, whatever's last in your head. I don't know why that doesn't make sense to me either. 
Well, whatever's last, you'd think it was whatever's first, but it's whatever's last. So right now, this link has the very most priority. Let me delete this. Okay. Right now, this link has the very most priority. Um, this, the style sheet, has the second most priority. And then your HTML down here has the last priority. Unless, unless you just say style equals font family just like that down there unless you define the style and that's because you're basically directing it directly up to your style sheet up there okay so that's basically how I want you to do this just say style equals and say font family and you could do it either way you could do this up you can name every single one of them it's usually better to name them but it's okay if you don't and I'm going to say black, black adder, ITC, and it's important to put the ITC in there. Ooh, this one does. Oh wait, didn't put the colon, semicolon. Okay, dang, this doesn't support it. Okay, did I spell it wrong? Black adder, ITC. Maybe it just goes with black adder. Okay. Sometimes HTML can't or does not support. Sometimes it just doesn't support it. Oh, wait. Oh, I've been making a lot of mistakes in this video. I'm sorry. I say font family, black adder, hit run. I need to put in the ITC. Hit run. There you go. Okay. So they should all work. The black adder, if that one didn't work, that would be the only one that I would be not surprised. I would be surprised if all the other ones didn't work. But that's what you do. So for Times New Roman, is it a serif? Yes, it is. So I'm going to put a little X right there. Is it anything else? No. It's just a serif. So I'm going to put an X. Jokerman, what is that? That is decorative, right? So I'm going to put an X there. Okay. That's how I want you to fill out this whole table. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this HTML makes sense to you. Sorry, my last video was so much better than this one. You guys would have appreciated it a lot better. I made this whole thing in my last video. That's why it took so long. And probably why it didn't load. That's okay. Okay, so yeah, this is just basically what I want you to see. I don't care if it's if it's uh, centered. I don't care if anything. I just want your font families. I want to understand that you know the difference between serif and sans serif, decorative and script. Okay, so go ahead and put all those up. All right, and that's it.